Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I got something special here. Ha! Gotcha! That's not ETA Prime, that's Ferbaka. What you know about Ferbaka? So he's our special guest today up in the house. Ferbaka, what's going on, bro? So, we're going to take a look at this arcade classics number three centipede arcade machine. Step aside for Baca. Get out of here. Watch how you're blocking our view, man. Just chill, bro. So here we go. Centipede. Bam. You know, the lighting, you can't really see it. I'm going to dim the light in a minute, you know. Don't get scared. But this is it. This is it. Centipede. These things are pretty flipping awesome, man. Pretty sweet. So let's open this, this bad boy up. Oh. Chill, bro. Chill. Getting a little excited over there. It's all right. I understand. Centipede's pretty sweet. So a little little instruction manual that you really don't need. You know, FCC statement there. You don't want to. You don't want to fuck with them. It's all good. A little drawing of the uh, arcade machine in case you forget what she looks like. There we go. Oh, nice. These stupid plastic tabs. Well, I'm actually glad this time because the other one that I opened, which was Frogger, these stupid plastic tabs that so you got to spin around so you can pop them off had tape all over it. This one doesn't have tape, so that's one less layer of shit to get in my way of getting this thing out. You know, they do this a lot with kids' toys, man. It's like they really don't want kids to play with stuff. Or they really want their parents to get frustrated. Frickin' annoying, man. Take that, Furby. Take that, Furbaka. So here she is. In all her glory. Little tab. Pull that thing out so it's out of demo mode. So that's the side. These things are about six inches. You know, it's, it's not the size that matters. It's what you can do with it. And This thing, you can play Centipede, so I think that's pretty sweet. Now, the Centipede game that ETA Prime showed in his video earlier today is, I think, a, a bit more than double the size of this one. And this plays Centipede flawlessly. We're going to dim the lights so you can actually see it. But the big difference between the two is going to be that this one is essentially like a, a Nintendo ROM type thing. This isn't like the arcade version of Centipede. None of these mini arcades, as far as these ones, the ones that are exclusive to Walmart, um, they're, they're all essentially ROMs of, you know, or, you know, they're, they're, they're designed a little differently, but they're not the arcade release. So the one that's on Kickstarter is an arcade released ROM it appears and it does have a trackball this has a little joystick and a little fire button which is still cool it's playable you got a little volume up and down pretty nice I think there's three lev levels of volume on these little suckers but the games are very playable these retail typically about 20 bucks or so they actually clearance these out at Walmart last year, uh, by my house anyway, for about 10 bucks. the first series of them. And now they're popular again. They restocked them. And if you're looking for this, it's $20 or so at Walmart. There's people out there that are thinking these are rare. Essentially, they're not. Just look. They've restocked them plenty of times. You can find them in Walmarts. But if you really need Centipede, there is a link in the description for the lowest price Centipede that I could find. So peep that out. Pretty awesome stuff. And then this is the tiny arcade Pac-Man right next to it. And the little tiny arcade's about three and a half inches or so. So this one's got a couple inches on that, that little guy. Still pretty cool. But yeah, I didn't measure this, but I'm, you know, just by looking at it, it's 
you know, like five and a half, six inches tall. Pretty cool stuff. Love the artwork on the side. Love the marquee. I wish the marquees on these ones lit up like the tiny arcades do. Tiny arcade ones are cool, but they're not as playable as these bigger ones. And they have the light up marquee though. That's that's what's really cool. I wish these big ones did as well. But unfortunately, they don't. But they do play a pretty awesome game of centipede or frogger or what's the other one? Cubert. Those are the ones that have the full color screen with the actual game ROM on it. The rest of them are like static screens that play like Tiger Electronics games. So right here you see my friend for Baca. He's about the same height as Centipede. I think that's pretty dope, man. He can get he can get all up in it. In it to win it, boy. Play that Centipede for Baca. Play it. So like I said, link in the description if you really need some, you know, Centipede action up in your life. I think these things are cool. I think that the Kickstarter for the licensed, uh, you know, 12-inch centipede looks pretty awesome. This is just made out of plastic. The other one on Kickstarter is made out of wood and metal, and it's pretty dang sweet. I'm actually picking one of those up as well. So I hope you guys like this video, checking out Centipede. Smash it, subscribe it, and boom.